John J. Bond. This is the area. Let's start to see you come cap start up for you. Uh, thank you much. Good morning, visitors. Currently emerging from the sea smoke, we have the John J. Boland. The John J. Boland was built as the Charles E. Wilson in 1973 by the Bay Ship Building Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 680 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She's powered by two 3,500 horsepower, 10-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles per hour. She's also equipped with 1,000 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Boland has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holes located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 34,000 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The John J. Boland is owned by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York, and she's operated under charter by Grand River Navigation of Traverse City, Michigan. The Boland is arriving in the Twin Ports today to uh, fuel up at the fuel dock and then head over to Hallett Dock Number 5 with a load of limestone. If you see any crew members, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports.